We're now a few years into the Web3 gaming phenomenon. What are some of the games that you're personally interested in? So I'm very excited about... Web3 Gaming, the latest news, updates, and esports. This is YGGTV. Twenty twenty two is a transition year for crypto and blockchain gaming. The industry is still young and we're still kind of learning a lot of lessons. The transition from web two to web three gaming is a crusade. The metaverse is a journey and gaming guilds are its building blocks. I've had the pleasure of knowing the founder of YGG, uh, Gabby Dizon, for a little over a decade now. And he is indisputably one of the world's experts in the transition between web two and web three gaming. Gabby, do you want to tell us a little bit about your background and how you got started? Sure. So I've been part of the game industry for 20 years now. Got started in the Philippines uh, as a, mo a mobile game developer. And then in 2017, I got into crypto when I heard about smart contracts on Ethereum. We've been making game economies uh, as part of the games that we've been developing for years now. And the idea that you can put real economies inside these video game economies sounded really exciting. So that's how I got into crypto. And then NFTs came out in late 2017, early 2018. And I started playing Axie uh, in 2018. And that really got me into like, Web3 gaming. Why don't you tell us about what those early days were like? The very, very early days of Axie in the Philippines. Yeah, the early days were super experimental even within crypto nfts were seen as a very kind of fringe hobbyist thing and there wasn't really much money in that space so it was the people who were really experimenting with the technology trying to figure out what it means to have nft assets in the context of a game and it was a lot of fun when i got into axie there were less than 500 people in the community Crazy. and i met what people think are a lot of the ogs today when you uh, say that you know kind of we are now in a web3 gaming kind of world like, how does it actually differentiate from Web 2? When you're playing a normal game, you're playing for the sheer enjoyment. You may spend tens, hundreds, thousands of hours. With Web 3 gaming, that means that you're building towards assets that you can own in the game. And that's very important because if I'm spending all of my time inside video games, I want to have assets that have value for the effort that I put inside it. Okay, so YGG has its own NFTs. Um, can you talk about like what the roles of the room, what the utilities of these NFTs are? Sure, these NFTs are markers of a guild member's passage into the metaverse. So for example, we have the YGG guild badge and now uh, there are different games that can scan your wallet and take a look at the badge and then represent YGG in some way when you go into a game. The Founders Coin is for our earliest uh, supporters. So we dropped this for free uh, early in 2020 when YGG was new. And now we've been airdropped a lot of different things, special items and games, um, exclusive NFTs to uh, to our YGG holders. And we've even dropped a book, Lorashin Scriptopia. Nice. We also have a Rewards Vault. <laughs> yeah. Rewards Vault is where people can stake the uh, tokens that they have and earn tokens from different games. YGG is kind of a, a guild of guilds in the sense that we're kind of made up of other guilds. What do you think, what would you say is the role of gaming guilds in this whole new space? First of all, uh, gaming guilds have existed for a long time. It could be as early as uh, Ultima Online in the late 1990s, World of Warcraft in 2004. So the concept of guilds itself is not new. What's different is that guilds now have the ability to own assets that have value. So that's what YGG does. It owns assets that have value in different games and then it attracts community to these games to uh, improve and play games and uh, improve the economy on them. So what can we expect from YGG in 2023? We're building a lot more on the reputational systems. We have the Guild Advancement Program, which we pioneered last year, in which players are playing different games and then get uh, Soulbound Token Achievement Rewards when they finish these quests. And we're going to be expanding this more into the different universe of games that we're doing. We're also looking at a very heavy focus on esports, where last year we uh, we had a very successful Axie Open Manila tournament for Axie Infinity. And I think we'll be doing a lot more of this this year. Yeah, I mean, the Axie Open event was kind of a real highlight for YGG Pilipinas and kind of the, all of the folks that got involved there. What can you tell us uh, about kind of the way the educational initiatives uh, in YGG Pilipinas are happening? Out. Yeah, education is very exciting. We have the Metaversity program, which will be expanding a lot more. This is our partnership with NASDAQ.io. 
And apart from the intro to Web3 classes that we have, we'll not only be doing more uh, content for people to learn about, but to, people will also be earning their uh, achievements when they finish these courses. Right, so you can actually get your GAP badges from being a learner in the metaverse, exactly. which is pretty awesome. We're now a few years into the Web3 gaming phenomenon. What are some of the games that you're personally interested in? So I'm very excited about My Pet Hooligan. I think the Carrot Gang is really great and they're coming out with some great content this year. Also very excited about Bijidai Gaku. Uh, I didn't know I would be excited about waifu NFTs, but uh, here we are. Uh, and Mighty Action Heroes is something that I'm also looking forward to playing as well. Awesome. Thanks so much, Gabby. All right. Thank you.